Okay, hello everyone. My name is Erica and I'm the owner of Beach Babe Soaps. I'm going to show you um, how I make embeds. Typically, I make embeds from my cold process soap recipe, the frosting recipe that I have. Um, but today I'm kind of in a pinch. So um, today I'll be making out of melt and pour soap. With your soap molds for your embeds, you can find them anywhere. You more or less have to think outside of the box when looking for them. There's a, quite a few companies that sell silicone soap that are small enough to be soap embeds. I find them everywhere. When I'm out shopping, I'm, I keep an open mind. I pick it up, I test it. Would this work for cold process or melt and pour? Um, so like this one I bought from Hobby. This one is great. I found this one on the internet and I'll leave the links below. Um, this one's a harder, thicker silicone and it makes cute little cereal looking embeds. Um, I made these a while ago, just kind of testing out this mold. Um, I just have them hang around up high so my daughter doesn't think they're actually cereal and tries to eat them. Anyways, this one I found at a craft store. Um, and when I buy them, I try to buy at least two because most likely they'll stop selling them. So always at least grab two. It, what I recommend. This one I found at a home decor store in the clearance section. And there was three. And yeah, I did. I bought all three. How cute is that little kitty cats? Um, these two I found on Amazon. Whatever, whatever links I can leave you for the molds that I found on the internet, um, I'll leave them down below. Um, this is a cute little raspberry mold, which I'm going to do today, or which I'm going to use today. This one's a giant blueberry, uh, mold. I'll be using this one today as well. So these two I'll demonstrate. Um, and then this one here, it's, this one's been a little, th this one I've used a lot. It's cute little fox, and this one's actually um, sold as a candy mold, and that's what I was saying. You kind of have to keep an open mind on uh, molds and how to find them. Um, you can search, excuse me, <clears throat> you can search candy molds. You can sh search chocolate molds, which is very popular. Um, but what, you're, what you want to look for in a mold is it that is a slightly flexible silicone mold. Now, there are molds out there that people made from any type of material. Like I said, molds aren't just for soap, they're for baking and candies. They're made of hard plastic and metal. The hard plastic and metal, and let me see if I can find one here. Ta-da. Now, this is a hard metal one. This will not be good for soap because it will be impossible to get the soap out of this mold it doesn't flex obviously um it's it's very hard and it's like i said it's made of metal the idea behind finding a good mold for your soaps is you need to be able to break the seal from the suction of the soap and the silicone so that's why it needs to be a little stretchy like this so you can break the seal between the soap and the mold and go Pop it right out. So there you have it. There's a little rundown of the different types of soap molds that you can buy and find and search for and and little tips and tricks. All right, I'll bring you guys back when I'm ready to do the soap. I chopped up the soap into tiny pieces and then I Stuck it in the microwave for 20 seconds and then 10 second intervals is what you want to do until it's almost melted. I can still feel chunks in here, which is fine. I'm going to stir that a little bit to have it cool down, but the heat from the melted soap will, will melt that chunk that's in there. That little chunk. So just kind of stir it around a little bit. You have a little bit of time to play with this. Um, if it starts to form a skin or starts to get thick on you, 
you can just pop it back in the microwave for five to ten seconds now when you melt your soap do not walk away from the microwave things can happen it can overheat it could overcook it could bubble over your container that you're melting it down might not be proper and it might melt don't ask me how i know yeah i had to explain that one but positive side microwave was really clean after that it was awesome so see the heat from uh melted so melted that chunk that was in there oh that's a little bit in there but that's fine so now i'm just gonna portion this off for my blueberry mold and i don't know i just got this in the mail the other day and i'm not sure how much each of these cavities hold typically i would put it on my scale tar it out so tar is the weight of the, the mold and fill up the cavities with water to kind of give me a, an idea of how much would hold i'm just gonna wing it today because i want some blueberries because i want to make my blueberry flapjack soup so I'm just pour a little that much in there that much in there I'll just put this off to the side and for my blueberries i'm going to use Bl brilliant blue mica from nurture and i'm going to use a little bit of purple vibrance for my blueberries so i'm going to grab myself a little actually it's not little it's a, pop, a bigger popsicle stick and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it in there dry what you would, this is more the way I do things is an advanced technique. I've been doing this for a very, very long time. Um, I will make a beginner's series of melt and pour soap. Um, how things should, well for beginners should do, and then you can modify it from there. That should be good. And just a teeny bit of purple see how that's gonna look now since I put it in dry what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spritz it with alcohol and it disperses that way it kind of saves me a dish or something to throw away Ooh, now that looks cool now with white melt and pour base it's gonna be pastel you're never gonna get a brilliant color or a brilliant color embed unless you use the transparent and even then it's not it's not quite accurate which is I'm okay with it I think I'm gonna add a little bit more blue once I get more of this stirred in here look how pretty that is Yeah, I'm going to add a little bit more blue quickly. A little bit of pur purple. That should be good. If not, it's close enough. I'm not looking for absolute perfection. I just want some blueberry embeds. Okay look how pretty that came out look how pretty okay so i'm going to let this kind of set up a little bit more because i don't want the mica to fall to the top of the blueberries while it's in the mold if it's if this is too warm when i pour it in there all the mica was settled to the bottom, which would be the top of the embeds. Which is, sometimes that's not a bad thing. It kind of gives it a fun look. Like I made uh, melt and pour donuts recently. And like little speckles of the, the uh, mica fell to the bottom, which was the top of the donut. And it kind of gave it that crumbly, extra toasted kind of look, which is cool. But see how runny that is? It's starting to set up. So when you pour and it kind of leaves a dent when it's falling in, let's see if we can get a close up, kind of like that. It's good. It's going to start forming a film 
So now we're going to pour. And we're going to pour relatively quickly. And I tend to get messy. And it's okay if it doesn't fill up all the way. These are going to get stuck into soap frosting, so you're not going to see the bottoms of them. The tops, now bottoms later of the soap. And if I make too many, that's okay. Save it for something else. You do want to be careful going back and filling up the mold because typically it autom it starts creating a film and it just looks kind of cruddy on on this side of the embed. So now I have a little extra. So let's see. Let me grab an extra mold. Typically I have this ready to go for this instance where I have too much of a color. There we go. Awesome. All right, so now we're gonna let that set up. We can tap it a little bit, but typically you don't get air bubbles in melt and pour because it's so liquidy. So I'm going to gently, oop, gently, come on, move this guy to the side and let this just kind of hang out and chill and set up uh, for, let's say about two hours. It's, it, whoops, did y'all see that? Oops. Doesn't really matter, but OCDs tend to kick in. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna let that set up for now, and now we're gonna work on the raspberry molds. Or the raspberry embeds. So it does take a little bit of mixing. But it works. That was poor. And those little extra tails, you know, don't worry about it because it just peels right off later anyways. So let's get this in here. Cool. So we have a little bit of extra melt and pour left over. So I'm going to melt this down and I'm going to find some more embeds to make. Okay, so now I decided to use the pineapple mold that I showed you earlier and make some pineapple embeds and get ready for summer. I can't wait for summer. <laughs> okay, so the colors I'm going to use are 
this very, very pretty Tequila Sunrise Mica from Mad Micas. And then I'm going to use Bright Yellow Raincoat. It says Mad Oils, but this was their previous company. It's the same people, but it's now Mad Micas. And I absolutely love them because they're pretty much, um, they're on the other side of the state from me. So I get my orders really quick. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to mix this up and I'll bring you guys right back. Okay. So I mixed up the colors. I did basically two parts yellow, bright yellow raincoat to one part tequila sunrise. And it came out like a really good pineapple color. Hope you guys can see that it's like really 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 pretty so let's go ahead and pour this you want to make sure you get in that little top that top is really thin Oop, there we go and i'm going to save some of this because i want to make it oop, oop, oop. uh use it for some of the gumballs because now i've been inspired to make rainbow soup bam well, looks like I'm not going to save any, which is fine. I need it to be a bright yellow anyways. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, there you go. Okay, so it's been a little bit, and I don't know how long it's been actually, but it's been a while. Anyways, I wanted to show you how easily these guys come right out of the mold. Isn't that adorable? It's just the cutest little thing ever. And it's a great size. If you see, it's like, you can't really see my thumbnail, but it's, it's much smaller than my thumbnail. So I think it's a good size for soaps. So anyways, let's see if we can get, I'm going to pop one out. And that's it. That's all. Come on. It's a little, <laughs> it's a little tricky. Oh, there we go. I got him. Let's see. Now you want, what you want to do is break the seal, flex it just a little bit. It doesn't take much and they tend to just pop right out. Some need a little convincing, I suppose. Let's get the rest of these out. Come on. There we go. So there you have it. Oh, and I wanted to show you like, see how this has this little edge on it. It just peels right off. And remember this part's going to be in the soap. You're going to smush it down in the soap or what have you. At least that's what I'm going to do. So I'm not going to be too concerned with cleaning that up. I mean, I'll get pieces off like this. Just kind of quickly run my nail on there. Let's check out the blueberries. Okay. Let's see which one this one. Come on, little guy. You can do it. Mm. This one's a definitely thicker. Maybe I should have tested this. They're fine. One. blueberry those are big blueberries oh my um but that's fine i cut my soaps at about one inch and let's see yeah they're fine there's plenty of space oh my goodness oh here's a good tip don't try to soap while hungry especially making food type embeds it makes you just like starve I've, I'm, I'm so hungry right now now this one is just a tad bit trickier because these 
blueberry mold. These embeds are so huge. But they're coming out. Seems to be the ones in the center like to come pop, pop out a little bit easier. They're, they are so, so, they're so cute. I don't want to use them, but I have to. Obviously, I can make more. Mm. <laughs> okay, well, obviously, I'm not going to get all of them out on camera. So, I'm going to put them here. Let's see. Let's pop out the little pineapples. See how they look. You got to be really careful with this particular pineapple mold. Because if you look... The little topper it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom so this part's really thin so there we go oh my god ah got a little okay that's better what are you doing okay so there's a little pineapple guy. That one I will spend a little bit of time to clean up the top. Get all the extra soap out of there. I will take some green mica mixed with rubbing alcohol. And I'll just paint the top a green color. Make it look all cutesy. Let's see. Ah, this little speck of red. It just go away. Thank you. Anyways, so there's the pineapples. Definitely going to have to make more. I'm not sure what I'm going to make with them just yet. But I'll figure it out soon enough. Maybe like a colada soap. Pina colada. Or something tropical. Be fun. Have to check out some of my soap suppliers. Find a good pineapple. If you guys have any suggestions on like a really good pineapple fragrance that I can use for soap um or something tropical it's like an awesome fruit salad chocolatey thing going on over here I'm definitely hungry <laughs> I have got to go eat okay so there's all the embeds keep a look out in my other videos my future videos for these embeds because I'll definitely be using them soon. Especially these two. These, I believe these two are my next video. So, alright. See you later. Okay, I gotta show you guys. Hopefully this will work on the blue. Oh yeah. Look at that. All clean. Well, mostly clean, but a lot cleaner than it was. All right. See you guys.